Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy Candy. If you did not know, now you do. For the people who know who I am and are always watching my videos, hi! So today it is a travel vlog. Exciting! I'm actually packing, hence the mess that's happening back there. Uh, I am going, can I say? Oh, you can see it from the title, obviously. We're going to the Mara. I'm going to the Mara. And um, I am traveling with a core. I will explain who they are and what they do later on in this video. But I'm also going to be traveling with um, a YouTube sensation, a social media sensation. You guys might know her. Her name is Maxine Wambosha, Wambosh, whatever you want to call her. Point is, she is adorable. And I will be traveling with her today. Um, so, right now, what I'm going to be doing is packing and then i'm gonna have to see you guys later because i have a very long day ahead of me and as you watch this video do not forget to like subscribe leave a comment um notification squad all that jazz you guys know what to do y'all know what's up let's get this vlog going see you guys in a few hours no they should Hello, this is the weirdest way to start a vlog. I know I'm starting super late in the day. It is at night. I am still in Nairobi, but I'm at Fairmount Norfolk um, in town. CBD, I'm spending the night here, but I am going to the Mara. I'm so excited. Let me give you a quick little tour of the room that I'm staying. I'm in room 714. You can totally give that information because I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. So here's my room. Here is the bathroom. I am using this tonight. His and hers sinks and mirrors. Basically, all goes in life. I need a his and hers mirror in my life. Like in the next two years. That's actually one of my goals on my vision board. We'll talk about my vision board tomorrow. If you don't have a vision board, oh my God, darlings, you have to have a vision board. Get a vision board. And here is my bedroom. And I am saying bedroom because, darlings, I have a living room. Oops, someone's at the door. One second, hi. Hello, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I got a little gift bag from Fairmount. And then my living area. And dining area. And also another bathroom for guests if I have them. I will not be having any guests. Uh, so I want to hit that bathtub. I'm going to hit that bath tub I, like is that weird that i'm one of those people who in my house i have a bathtub i never use it the lighting here is fantastic but anyways at home never use my bathtub ever in a hotel may i use that thing may i use it may i use it like it owes me money may i use it Wah. so here is my dinner i got salmon with a quinoa salad, I'm excited. God, I can't eat that though, it's too late in the night. But this, oh yeah. in the morning uh, I woke up actually an hour ago right now I've already showered done my makeup need to do my lips obviously we're not gonna have breakfast just cuz <coughs> uh, 
we're not gonna have breakfast just because I don't eat in the morning. I struggle to eat when I wake up. So we're gonna check out and then we're going to the Mara with Fairmount. Okay, I am dressed, outfit of the day, just a plain black tee, some bikers. Uh, this I got in South Africa for um, AFI. <laughs> we wearing it, no shame. Pair of bikers, it's from an Instagram page, High Style, right here. And then sneakers, these are from Sandy Boutique, Instagram as well. Blazer from Mango, and earrings from Beauty Galore. It's the whole street vibe, yes. All right, let's go. <laughs> You ready? So ready. You ready? So ready. Because hey. I feel like they couldn't see you before. There she is with better lighting. <laughs> to me arrive. We're now waiting for our tea. Well, she has her tea. I'm waiting for my green tea. It's cold. It's not that cold. <laughs> it's alright. It's rainy. But she's also tiny. I have a lot of body fat. Like, it's insulation. You're not thinking, wait. <laughs> you give me those vibes of like, you can't. Can you give me? Can't relate. <laughs> when Bosch's room is right there, so we're neighbors. This is our outside. Mad cute. Now let me give you a quick little tour of my crib. So we are now gonna head out for lunch and a photo shoot because I'm extra. So I have a change of outfits that I will be taking with me to lunch. And I will have no shame. I will have a tripod, a big camera photo shooting myself. Ask me if I care. Ask me if I care. Outfit number one, animal print, cause Mara vibes. Outfit number two, time for a safari. Shoot is done. Hey, wait, wait. You see this challenge? This got baby. This is Jeremiah. He was a fabulous tour guide. You're welcome. <laughs> we can do it again. We can do it again. <laughs> Did you get the door again? Yeah. Did you get it? You got your shot? The internet is so fake. <laughs> Oh my god, they're play fighting. 
Wait, it's an older elephant and a younger elephant? Yeah, they're not fighting, it's just like... Uh, training, like clay fight. <sighs> just flying. Do you see how close we are? Do you see how unbothered they are? 20, 20 energy. the adventure <laughs> and we've just pulled over like to Koko Highway mind you kuna Ryan's just so <laughs> yeah. have you ever just watched that movie called there's nothing we can do <laughs> you just get comfortable and you get comfortable <laughs> those are the two options you just get comfortable Well, since we had a flat tire, we decided that uh, since this is the only time we're ever allowed to like walk outside the car, you must do a photo shoot. Hey, flat tire, but make it fashion. We have a flat tire, but we made it fashion. Yeah, but it's cute though. So first things first is to jump in the shower. I've been having it warm up for like the past 10 minutes because it takes that long to warm. And I'll see you guys right early in the morning. See ya. Good morning. We're great. So we are back in our rooms. We have 10 minutes before we're going to a Maasai village. I am changing into something way warmer. Like I froze, like I froze. So I'd rather be hot than cold. So <laughs> I am dressed to go. Maasai blanket that I turned into a cape. Pink trench. In case anybody wants to know the legging set that I'm rocking right now is from Genio. Genio? Genio? Who knows? This page. <laughs> I'm so bad at memorizing Instagram pages. I'm so sorry. But anyways, I'll put the information down below if you want to purchase something from them. I highly recommend that they are amazing, amazing quality. So, hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag they really are just that dope. Let's go.
in my community, we are 150 all together. A man can have more than one wife in our culture. The more you have more cattle, the more you get more wives. So I want this. It doesn't fit my big head. Oh my gosh, you know what this reminds me of? Mm -hmm. You know that that guy, uh, I think he was Emmys, Grammys. Oh, with the hat that closes. <laughs> like, I just needed to just be able to do this and this. And I'm like, it's fashion. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have been told there are very many eligible bachelors. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Asante sana. Chief. Thank you. Asante. <laughs> so that was fun. And I'm not getting the necklace. Whoop. Tell them how much it was. <laughs> the thousand. Have you ever just been like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Who am I? <laughs> With our yeah, eyeballs. God, I'm about to lose my mind. I'm about to lose my mind. I'm gonna cry. Candy. So we're waiting for them to be visible, but it's a male and a female. Um, they're ready to mate, in which I guess it means they gotta fight because they're fighting. But they're fighting with love. I don't know. I just realized she and I got so excited to get the shots of the rhinos that we forgot them in the <laughs> freaking safari. Kuna rhinos and cheetahs hapa. Do it for the Instagram and for the YouTubes. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> She's just back there. And. This was all fine and dandy until he was like, yeah, they're very friendly, but they have short tempers. Yesterday, I was chased and chased and chased until I had to climb up a tree. Then I'm just like, I'm sorry, what? And we're just over here just following it like it's a monkey. <laughs>
amazing. When you guys come to Fairmont, yeah. ask for him. That's so it's so nice. You're ask welcome. for him. Thank you so Thank much. You. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good. It's a wrap for the day. Going to the room to pee. <laughs> Good morning, it is the last day. Uh, I'm not doing any rides today or safaris just because we've done a lot. We've done one, two, three, four, four so far. So today I just wanna chill. I wanna um, get some work done. I wanna shoot um, outfit pics, things like that. I bring extra clothes, I already mentioned that. And then we're gonna head home in the afternoon, so. That's a day to day. So this is the first outfit. Off shoulder top, Instagram, nice puffy sleeves. Um, I think this skirt is from Gikomba. Got it a wob like a very long time ago and it's been amazing ever since. And this bag, do you guys see that fabulosity? Do you not see that? Like, it's a bird in a cage. And just like that, ignore this. I scratched it up during the safari. But anyways, I got the shots. Fabulous, yes. And that, my friends, is how you become a one-man team. Now let me just continue with the rest of my shoot. And then I'll show you guys this room that I'm actually shooting at. This is the suite. Um, I've been staying at the deluxe. This is the suite. This is such a vibe if you want to travel with family or if you want to travel with your friends. For example, my friend's birthday is next month and she wanted to come to the Mara with a bunch of us. So this would be perfect. You don't have to get your own single room. I'll show you guys once I'm done with the shoot. Such a vibe. Okay, so I'm done with this outfit. Let me show you guys the suite. Okay, so it starts with the staircase, obviously. And then... We go down this side, so this you can call the master bedroom. Can fit two people, and it's the same layout as my room. You walk down here, we have a lounging spot, a beautiful view of the river. And if you come in here, we have a living space. This is what I'm saying, this would be perfect to come with like your friends or your family. You see this, you can even dine there. And if you come in here, you have another bedroom that holds two double beds. And the, <coughs> <do you? coughs> sorry. And I think in each bed you're actually allowed to have two people per bed, obviously. So you can actually hold up to six people here. And if you're with your girls, y'all gonna be like sharing rooms anyways. And of course, another bathroom. Shower and toilet is in that space. Anyway, so I just need to finish up with a shoot and then I'm gonna meet you guys back in my room where we're just gonna have a little conversation, a little talk. A little catch up, a little, how are you doing? Wendy Williams, whatever. Okay, cool. So I wanted to just check in with you guys. Um, we kind of had a conversation earlier about, um, you know, 2019 wrap up and how uh, 2020 has been, or how 2019 was, and how excited I am for 2020. And I asked you guys how your 2020 has been and how your 2019 has, and I was going through you guys' comments. and. I, like it's kind of nice to just know that you're not alone with certain things like I felt like I was the only one going through some mess in 2019 so it's kind of nice to just like read you guys' comments and your DMs and to be like oh my god <laughs> we were in this together but I wanted to ask you guys like what have you been actually doing to um, make this year what you want it to be for me, for example, uh, what I did was towards the end of December and beginning part of January, I started sitting down with myself. All 15 of my personalities, we all had like a beautiful conference call and we just started discussing what we want 2020 and the years after to be like. 
which is funny because I've never actually done that. I used to be just a, like of course everybody like starts the year with a New Year's resolution, but it was like, it never took it seriously. It was just kind of a concept of like, things I want to do, but if I don't do it, meh, there's always the next year. But this year I was just like, no, 2019 was horrendous and I never want to be there ever again. So I need to purposely make decisions that will make sure that never happens. And there's some things that you definitely obviously have no choice in, like certain things just happen to you, whether or not you wanted them to happen. But there's certain things that you actually have the capacity to change. And I realized that towards the end of last year, like there were certain things that I was so unhappy about that I just was like, do I want to stay unhappy or do I want to fix it? And I made the actual physical decision to be like, I'm going to fix it because it's just too draining for me, too draining for my brain, too draining for my heart, uh, too draining for everybody else who's around me. So I was like, I need to actually physically make a change. Um, and one thing that usually I don't talk about, but um, something that I really went through a lot is um, my boyfriend and I, we went through it last year. Like we went through it, like through it, through the Gara, through the river, through, through the Sahara Desert. Like we went through some ish and towards the end of last year, we, we kind of just sat down and we're like, so um are we just gonna continue being unhappy or are we gonna like do some stuff and fix this and we made the conscious decision to be like we're gonna fix this and also with that something else was also like fixing myself i i wasn't who i wanted to be i was unhappy a lot and again i was like i need to stop doing that which even if and it's so small and it's so simple but just like the simple concept of just waking up in the morning and deciding I'm not gonna have a crappy day like I refuse to and if I do I'm gonna you know take a minute you know collect myself and then find a way to fix it and that's what I do nowadays every single morning I wake up I think about everything that I need to do number one and then I'm just like so how like what can I do for myself to make this day a fabulous day um, it could be something as simple as I really just want to do a photo shoot for myself. Of course, I want to post it on Instagram, but it's mainly for myself. And it's going to be dope. Many people are probably not going to like it, but I really don't care. It makes me happy. And then I'll do that. Or I'll just be like, I'm going to make a cheesecake. And then I'll do that. Or just like one thing that can just make me a better person for myself. And also another thing that I like to think about is like, what's one thing that I can do to better somebody else's life around me? Even if it's as small as like, you know, calling the manses and be like, what do you want to have for dinner? And they mention one thing that they've not had in forever. And I'm just like, okay, I mean, it takes me three hours to make it, but I'm going to make it. Because if it makes you happy, it'll make me happy. Another thing that I've done is worked on my organization. I just was so disorganized for three years no two years maybe three I don't know I was disorganized for way too damn long I would wake up in the morning and just wing it I didn't even think that I would feel a difference I thought it was just something that I'd be like yeah 2020 20 New Year's resolution get more organized and I'm actually feeling a difference like I wake up every morning knowing what I need to do and I go to sleep every night knowing that I had checked off certain things and what I might need to do the next day. And it's like, it kind of helps your soul and your, your spirit be lighter. Cause you're never overthinking like, Oh my God, what did I forget? Oh my God, did I do this? Oh wait, was I supposed to do this? It's, it's bizarre. So one thing that I've been doing is, and I showed this in um, my last, uh, or two videos ago. I don't know when this is going to go up. It's going to go up this week, but I don't know which day. It is a game changer for my life, personally. Um, I got it on Instagram from this account. I'm going to put the link down below so you guys can hit them up if you need to. But um, this notebook has been so amazing. Like, I fill it out every single day with everything that I need to do, uh, meetings that I have, content that I need to get done. It has different sections for you to fill out. And the best part is I don't like notebooks that have calendar dates on them because in my head I'm just like... What if I forget to fill it out for two days? Now I have to like mess up two whole pages because now I have to like skip to like March 2nd. Very annoying. But this, you just fill in your own dates. 
I also have a 2020 vision board and my vision board is not a physical um, hard copy it is digital so I did mine just on my laptop once I put it together I make sure that I turn the vision board into my desktop for everything so my laptop I also have it on my phone and I also have it on my other phone so there's absolutely no reason as to why um, so I keep adjusting the light there's absolutely no reason why I can't see it. And the reason why I love vision boards so much is because it helps you put down an idea of what you want to accomplish, whether it's in five years, 10 years, a year, two months, you like you can physically see it. And then another thing that I love so much about it is it works with you even subconsciously. When you look at something enough times, you psychologically, subconsciously do things to achieve that goal if that makes any sense because for me I don't like to look at vision boards as you know that juju of if you write it down then the universe will give it to you no I don't I don't believe in that BS I believe that you still have to work to actually achieve it the universe is not just gonna be like oh you put it on a piece of paper why did you do that two years ago here's a check for two million shillings no, you actually have to work for it. So when you look at it every single day, even if you're actually not paying attention to everything that's actually on it, your brain is still taking in some of that information. It's taking in bits and pieces of the pictures that you have or like the words that you've put on your vision board. And it's stuck in your head and you don't even realize that it's there. And then you actually find yourself doing things that will help you accomplish that goal. What are you guys doing? Sorry, I blabbered on for so long, but for reals, for reals, what are you guys doing to, you know, make sure that this year is one of the best years or this decade is one of the best decades or just what are you doing to make sure that 2019 never happens again? Um, let me know. I'd love, love, love to hear from you guys um, and how you guys are doing it. I need to go have lunch. It is lunchtime, so uh, yeah, let me just like wrap up the rest of my stuff. Hello guys, it has been two days, um, I have been home just chilling, going through footage, editing, uh, it's gonna be a long video, heads up, well it's not heads up, you're already watching it, uh, so yeah, now let's talk about Accor, so Accor is who sponsored this trip, very appreciative, had the best time, and Accor is basically like the parent group, and underneath Accor there are multiple hotels. So in Kenya, for example, we have Fairmount, so there's one in town, there's one in the Mara, there's also one in Mount Kenya, where my people are from. Um, there's also Moven Peak, there's also Ibis, and there is another hotel that's gonna be opening up very, very soon, and I'll show you guys once that happens. Anyways, they have started this Limitless Loyalty program. And the way it works, especially if you travel a lot, this would be perfect for you. I'm, I'm genuinely very excited about this. And even if you don't travel that much, you can benefit from this. So the way it works is, when you go to any one of the establishments, and again, they have many, um, you collect points. And the best part about it is, not just if you stay at their hotel, you can also gain points from eating at their restaurants, bars, and also you can redeem these points in multiple places. So you guys will be following me for the next couple of months as I show you guys how the Limitless program works for me, how I'm gonna be getting points, where I'm gonna be redeeming them, all that jazz, it's gonna be fantastic. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have not gone to the Mar yet, 
you must. It is a must. And this was easily one of the best experiences I've ever had. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that jazz, notification gang. Y'all know what to do. And see you guys in the next video.